So hello everyone, um, so this is just another short video on putting a sling on a patient. Um, obviously um, there's different types of slings nowadays, so this is something that needs to happen quite rarely. But um, just in case you get asked, it's quite cool to know. Um, so if we are going to be using a triangular sling, um, uh, what we want to do is for both types of slings, either a broad arm or a high arm, we want to make sure that we have the longest edge running down the unaffected side of the person and the corner pointing towards the affected side of the person. Um, if we're going to do a broad arm sling, so the patient's arm will be across their body like that, so it's hanging down. This one's mainly used for pain control, um, so if they've got some kind of shoulder pain or arm pain, or other pain, good. Um, so that can do to support their arm. If we're going to be doing this um, sling, what we want to do is um, ask them to support their arm for us, and if um, I can ask James just to bring it away from his body just a little bit, that's fine. And we'll start off underneath his, underneath his arm, and we'll put that up to his shoulder here, and then we'll just bring the um, bottom edge up around his, um, his uh, shoulders, around his neck, and then I can tie the edges, to, uh, the corners together up here, and hopefully that should support him enough to relieve some of his agony that he's obviously in. Is that okay, James? Yes, yes, yes. Good. Much better. Excellent. So that's up there. Now you might need to uh, just adjust it a little bit, and you might need to um, come around here with some tape or a safety pin if that's your bag, but we wouldn't encourage you to take pins, but just to take that to make it a bit more supportive. Okay? Right. So that's a broad arm sling. Now, um, a high arm sling is a sling that is used to actually raise the, um, your hand or uh, to reduce swelling. So um, that would need to be in this position across the patient. If we're going to do that type of sling, um, we start off in exactly the same way, so this shape, but this time we start off in front of the patient, so that's there like that, and we need to make sure that we have an adequate amount of sling here to be able to curve around the arm to support it. You can actually sometimes ask the patient just to hold that there for them. And now what we should do is bring your um, elbow away from your body if you can, and tuck that underneath there, and we're going to actually bring that around um, James, and I'm going to get the ends to meet at the top here, and tie those off. to support his arm. Now at the bottom there, his corner of his elbow, we can see this is quite open, we might want to tuck that in, and we can take that to support that, and then we might want to bring his arm just in here, just to support his arm so it feels a bit more supported, and that's a high arm swing. How's that? That's really good. Excellent, so that's it, thank you very much.